Breckenridge Ski Resort is a family-friendly destination in the 10-mile range of the Colorado Rocky Mountains. Breck was the first major resort in Colorado to allow snowboarding in 1984. This epic pass resort is still above the rest and boasts the highest chairlift access in North America. It receives over 350 inches of powdery Colorado snow each year and the season runs into late May. There is terrain for every level of rider to enjoy from dedicated learning areas to high alpine extreme shoots across the five peaks. We are Jennifer and Jeff with Snowboard Traveler. Welcome to Breck. We are exploring Breckenridge, Colorado today. It is a massive mountain with five different peaks I could count. Each one pretty much dedicated to one level. So terrain for everyone. And today we're gonna to check out all those different peaks and show you how it is here at Breckenridge. The town of Breckenridge is a two hour drive from Denver International Airport or 75 minutes from regional Eagle Vale Airport over Vale Pass. Breckenridge is one of several ski resorts along the busy I-70 corridor and travel times can vary significantly with weather and traffic. Breckenridge spans 2,900 acres across five mountains, peak six to peak 10. Peak six is intermediate with advanced hike to terrain. Peak seven is intermediate. Peak eight has a little bit of everything and the highest elevation. Peak nine has a learning area plus expert trees and peak 10 is expert only. Parking is available near the Peak 9 base area or at Breckenridge Station by the gondola, which takes you up to the base of Peak 7 and Peak 8. There is a flat rate daily parking fee and an easy way to access the mountain. Keep an eye out for moose during the gondola ride and on the mountain. Start the day in the middle of the resort on the mountain that started it all, Peak 8. There is terrain for every level of rider here, including the super pipe and extra large train park, which were still being built when we visited. There are four lifts from this base area, so lift lines move quickly. There is every level of run off the Colorado Super Chair. From there, connect to the six chair for glade laps and rolling terrain, but watch out for the flats at the bottom. Then hop on the Imperial Express, the highest lift in North America, to the Imperial Bowl. Take a short, steep hike to reach nearly 13,000 feet with a view of all the peaks and across to the Continental Divide. There are several alpine bowls and extreme chutes opening after Ski Patrol completes avalanche safety checks. Further down is the T-Bar, which loops some of the lower bowls. Intermediate level riders will enjoy long blue groomers on peak 7. There is rolling terrain and scenic views. In 2021, there will be a new, much needed Peak 7 Super Chair, which will help with congestion at the base and simplify the transfer between Peak 6 and Peak 8. Breck is consistently the second most visited resort in North America, right behind Vail, so don't be surprised by some longer lift lines. At the top of Peak 7 is the new Pioneer Crossing Cafeteria to relax and refuel. After exploring Peak 7, head over to the newest train at Breck, Peak 6. For an adventure, go through the woods along Wanderlust, keeping a high line which requires some skating as a snowboarder. Or take the Zendo chair. Be careful getting off Zendo as a snowboarder. The lift shoots you straight down a slope with limited space to strap in. There is nearby Horizon Warming Hut with restrooms to take a break or have a snack. Peak 6 was opened in 2013 and has the world's highest six-person lift to above tree line, wide open intermediate terrain. There is hike to access to Beyond Bowl, Serenity, and Six Senses when the advanced areas are open. We found quality snow on Peak 6 and fewer crowds. Once you get back to the middle of the resort, take each air along the glades of the windows to the top of Peak 9. The windows are lap worthy on a powder day. On the other side of Peak 9 is the learning area with slow ski zones for learners to progress or even experienced riders to hone new skills like riding switch. There are smaller terrain parks and kid adventure zones along the easy runs. Last, we make it to peak 10. Take the Falcon Super Chair up this expert only area with long black diamond groomers for cruising, as well as technical tree shoots. The road out of the technical area is called Flapjack and it's flat as a pancake. There's also the burn, a section of glades thinned out by a fire in 1900 and the spacing is perfect for fun turns. Peak 10 has a warming hut at the top and 10 miles station at the bottom for food. From Peak 10, it is easy to get back to the middle of the resort on the Peak 8 Super Connect lift. At the end of the day, take the gondola or the green road back to the parking lot. From the parking area, it is an easy walk to downtown Breckenridge where you can explore the historic mining turned ski town. 
Main Street is lined with shops, restaurants, and bars to grab a pint and refuel for another day of riding. If you're coming from sea level, you will likely feel the altitude, so drink plenty of water, snack often, and pace yourself. Thank you for joining us here at Breckenridge. Hope you learned about all the five different peaks and where to go when you come here to visit. Hope we introduced you to your next favorite mountain. And we'll see you at the next ski resort.